When drawing biological diagrams in biology, we need uh, to make sure we have a sharp pencil uh, and a rubber and a ruler. And we're going to be drawing onto plain paper. Let's take a look at this beetle here. So the beetle is an insect. Uh, it's an invertebrate, which means it doesn't have a backbone. And it is in the arthropod phylum, uh, which means it's got a chitinous exoskeleton. It has a three part body, three pairs of jointed legs. It has compound eyes, which we can't see in this, and it has one pair of antennae. So those are the things that we are going to focus on today. Now, I'm not an artist, but I'm going to show you how to score maximum marks. So we want to fill as much as the paper as possible. So let's take a look at the head section first. So we've got the head section, which is just here. And the head section in this particular sample goes straight then into the thorax, like that. So we've got the head, head, and the thorax is going to be here. Now there's a little section underneath, which is a bit smaller. And then that then opens out into the abdomen. And it's got a structure at the bottom like this. And then it comes up. Okay, so we've got the head, thorax, abdomen. The other key things is we need to make sure we have got our jointed legs. And so we've got a jointed leg coming out of the thorax first, so we've got a thorax leg, which is coming out and it's jointed, and it comes to a point and then it comes out again to a wider point and then it comes back in and it has little claws coming off the sides like that and of course it's got a pair of jointed legs now this one comes looks like it's it looks like it's actually in between the thorax and the abdomen so we're just going to draw that coming out there it's coming out this way it gets this one seems to get wider towards the end well, i've made a little mistake there so just rub that out as you can see it's a good idea to press <laughs> gently so we'll just put that back in there. So let's, let's get that coming out in this direction. It comes to a wider point and then we've got a little thin starter off like that. Then it comes to the claws then at the end. So we've got another pair of jointed legs coming out of the abdomen now. this way, it starts off thin, gets a bit thicker, and then we've got the claws at the end. Okay, and then we've got the other one on the other side, like this, it comes down, it gets slightly wider, we've got the claws on the end there. Make a mistake, rub it out. And it comes to a point and that's quite wide. It's quite wide at the bottom, so it's wide at the bottom and so it comes Let's start this little section again, there we go. Let's just make sure we've got our section here for our joint, which widens out before it comes to the claws at the bottom, like that. Then we've got our last pair of jointed legs. They're actually going slightly down. wide, it 
comes straight down and it ends up quite wide like that and then we've got our drawers at the bottom and then we've got the last pair of jointed legs just doing the same thing which off the opposite side but this one's slightly higher up it's coming out the joint coming down and then we've got our claws then one two three four claws at the bottom uh, we've got antennae coming out of the top and we've got one two three four oh it comes around six seven eight nine ten sections so we've got one no we've got our first little section here which comes out the top of the head to a wide point and it comes out and then it comes to the next one and it gets slightly thinner again it comes round round again and it gets slightly smaller each time so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven so far. We've got, oh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ten, eleven. And let's take a look at the same on the other side. So it's going to be eleven on the other side as well. So it sort of comes in and round it's a bit irregular shape this one and then again we're going to go one two three Let's count it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, I can only actually see nine there. And it's curving round to go underneath the claw on the one of the jointed legs coming out. So it says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's draw that there like that. Nine. So it's not perfect. So let's take a look at the diagram now we can tidy a few things up because we've got some things which are sketched over and we can start to label so we're going to label we're going to use um, the ruler so this is going to be the abdomen this is going to be a leg we don't have to label up all the legs so there's the leg uh, this is going to be an antennae. Uh, we've got our thorax, and we can't see the difference between the thorax here and the head, so we're not going to put it in. So we draw what we see thorax. Okay, so we've got our three pairs of jointed legs. Um, I couldn't see the eyes, so we take a closer look. It's very difficult to see, so we're not gonna put them in. Uh, we have our pair of antennae, one pair of antennae, and there we go, we got a chitinous exoskeleton there as well. Let's add a few little details. We've got some white flecks in here, which we can put in, because what we're looking at is just the main structures that we can see, like that. We've got some bits in the middle. Oops, that needs to join up like that. We've got some bits in the middle that look like, oh, that needs to join up. You can't have any sketchy leftover bits. Uh, there's a fleck there, and then just there as well. Okay, so that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to work out how much I've magnified this. 
So you're going to measure from the top to the bottom. So this is going to be, let's measure it in millimetres, so we keep the units all the same. That is going to be, let me take my glasses off and take a closer look, that's 87 millimetres. So the image is 87 millimetres. The specimen is that, let's put that at the bottom there, let's line it right up. That's 34 millimetres. The actual is 34 millimetres. So we can work out how much I've magnified this by, by using the equation, image is divided by actual multiplied by magnification. So we want the magnification. So magnification is image divided by actual, which is M equals 87 divided by 34. I'll just put up a calculator. Just realized my calculator is actually on my mobile phone. I'm using my mobile phone for uh, recording. So it's 87 divided by 34. It's 2.55. So it's two, so the magnification equals 2.558. So let's just round that up 2.6 times.